The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Howland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God on this September the 16th as we begin 1 Thessalonians. Today we have the first chapter. In 2024, we're reading through the New Testament. We use the English Standard Version translation. I read from the Lutheran Study Bible. I also use the meditations and prayers that are found within the Lutheran Study Bible. We have the Pray For Us calendar from lcms.org. Remember different people and things in our daily prayers. And also those who have requested prayer here at Christ our Savior. So let's hear God's word together and pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways, that I may gain Christ and be found in him not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I will declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. First Thessalonians, the first chapter. Greetings. Verse 1. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ grace to you and peace. So far the word. As a good shepherd, Paul wants to keep in touch with the flock of God. Labor in God's kingdom is not a one-man job. We must not forget to visit and follow up with those who are in Christ Jesus. We must work in God's kingdom by joining hands with our brothers and sisters in Christ. God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ sustain the church and carry it in the palm of their hand. We pray. Lord, thank you that the church is rooted in you and not in feeble human beings. As feeble as we are, help us to join hands, as did Paul, Silas, and Timothy, and labor in your kingdom. In your name we pray. Amen. We continue now at verse 2, the Thessalonians' faith and example. We give thanks to God always for all of you, constantly mentioning you in our prayers, remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love, and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers, loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not only in word, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. You know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia, for not only has the word of the Lord sounded forth from you in Macedonia and Achaia, but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere, so that we need not say anything, for they themselves report concerning us the kind of reception we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come. So far the word of the Lord. The Thessalonians become model Christians in words and deeds due to the impact of the gospel in their lives and the fruit of the Spirit demonstrated in their faith, love, and hope. Compared to the Thessalonians, we have much poor in our faith, labor of love, and steadfastness of hope. Even without hardship or persecution, we are slow to confess our faith and live it out in love. The Lord knows each one of us in our specific situation. His Spirit has created faith in us and gives us power and full conviction. Despite our weaknesses and failings, His unfailing love and forgiveness will sustain us to be His witness. We pray. Thank you, Lord, for the victorious life you gave the Thessalonians. Make us also an exemplary witness for the gospel, so that your name may be glorified far beyond our community. In your name we pray. Amen. We continue in prayer on the 16th day of the month from the Pray For Us calendar. We pray that God would lead all sinners to repentance, that we might have the words of repentance and contrition in our hearts and our minds always as we fall short and we receive the forgiveness that he has won for us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. 
as well as Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen and Mary Ann, Jane and George, Brina, Marilyn and Chris. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them into the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O oh Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>